Hello to everyone out there. As you see behind me, the hood of the 107 is open. We will be dealing with her today in this video. We will check the feeler of the engine cooling system. Let us have a look if it is working properly. We want to check if the indicated temperature in the cluster is the real temperature of the coolant to check if the sensor in the engine bay is functioning. We will check this after the intro. So, off we go. Two components are actually involved to indicate to us the correct temperature of the coolant of the engine. First, the needle of our display in the cluster and second, the feeler which is sitting right here, marked red on the left hand side. Here we go again. To have access to the feeler, we have to remove the air filter housing. Cannot remember how many times I have taken off this thing. <laughs> Maybe a hundred times or more. A dollar for every time I'd be a rich man. I could do this blindfolded. The air filter housing is now gone. We have a closer look at our temperature feeler. This is an engine M117. And with this engine type, an M116, the feeler is right here, close to the radiator. If you have an engine M103, the feeler is close to the firewall, further at the back of the engine. So this thing here at which I'm pointing at is our feeler with one pin, which is also included in the circuit diagram named as B13. In addition with all key I Chetronic engines, we have two feelers named as 1B11 and second B13. Only the B13 is crucial for sending the right signal to the cluster. If you have the impression that the temperature of the engine coolant is not displayed correctly, either too low or too high, I would recommend to go through the steps of checking to see if this feeler is working properly. So you can do all this at home without taking the car to mechanic. We do it step by step. First of all, pull the plug of the feeler. Second, start the ignition. The indicated temperature shown by the needle must stay around 40 Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So here I am sitting in the driver's seat. The plug in the engine bay has been disconnected. Here on the left hand side I got my gauge for the coolant. I switched the engine on. The indicated temperature must be at a 40 degrees Celsius or 100 Fahrenheit. The first step is being done now. Sorry to hammer away on this. As mentioned before, the first step is done. With the engine switched on, the temperature has to stay below a 40 degrees Celsius or below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Let us move on to our next step. The plug is remaining unplugged and is now being connected with our meter and the other end to the electrical ground. Let us go back inside the car, start the engine. If the feeler here is working properly, the needle of the temperature gauge should go to 120 degrees Celsius, which is way above a 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Second step, I am back in the driver's seat. The feeler in the engine bay is being connected to ground. I ignite the engine. As you see, the needle jumps to 120 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Result, the feeler has passed this test. Seems to be okay for the time being. Let's move on to check the feeler which is named B13 in the diagram as shown here on a 560SL with an engine M117. As mentioned earlier on, the feeler is close to the radiator. With the M103 engine, the feeler has been mounted closer to the firewall in the rear next to the fuel flow divider. We could go on with further tests such as 
let us say by connecting a 68 ohm resistance between the plug at the radiator and ground. When doing that, the needle of the temperature gauge should swing to a 80 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees Fahrenheit. When I repeat this procedure with a 37 ohm resistance, then the needle should show 100 degrees Celsius or a 210 degrees Fahrenheit on the gauge. The temperature sensor is a so-called NTC, negative temperature coefficient thermistor, whose resistance decreases with temperature. We have had this topic already in another video with the topic mono or dual valve of the heating system for the passenger compartment. This a resistor with a negative temperature coefficient, the higher the temperature, the better the conduction of the electricity. I will show you a chart so you can get some key data for measuring if the sensors show the right temperature. You can read all this in the latest issue of the 107 Club magazine. I am just supposing and assuming and a little bragging <laughs> that you are all members there of the 107 Club. Here is the article in detail of this video. The club has a YouTube channel as well. I will add a link at the end of the video. Have a look and be surprised by many interesting articles and videos. Hope you have liked it. Hope to see you again soon and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and listening.